Bam! There you go. That went freaking everywhere. How's it going, everybody? Ben from Budget Pokemon here. I have another Mail Day video for you. And as you can see, this time around, lots and lots of letters. And most of these cards are actually pretty reasonable. Um, this one is not. So I'm gonna be opening this first. This came once again all the way from Japan. And let me tell you, it was really expensive. This actually made up like half of the cost. Okay, hang on. That actually had an invoice, so let's get rid of that. No extra gift in the box. Maybe there's something extra in here. I'm unprepared. I need... I need my... my exacto knife. Maybe I should use the normal knife. So this one was the most expensive one. And it makes up like half of the... of the cost for this whole video, but... This is a very special card indeed, as you're gonna hopefully see, if I can get this out. Yeah, there you go. It is shipped very securely. That's like one thing I've noticed about Japanese sellers. Like, they always package their stuff super securely. Like, I, I don't think I've ever received a card from Japan that came, like, bent or anything. All right, here we go. It seems to be there are a few extra cards and let's see if I can rip this off. This seems to be like, okay, seems to be like masking tape. All right, nice little Ziploc bag with a few extra cards. I think those are just, you know, for, for, I don't know, protection or something. Well, we're gonna look at them. First of all, we, we lay this card down right here, I guess. We can get rid of this. And then look at these, these extra cards. Yeah, they just seem to be like, you know, for, for protection. Nothing too special here. Oh, there's a reverse rare or Ikurio. That's pretty neato. And this is, of course, the one I'm after. And also, for some reason, the Japanese always like to use these side-loading top loaders. Hmm, interesting. So, let's see. Let me just get this out of its sleeve. Get it up to the camera and then turn it around. Ho ho holy moly, okay. This is the Arceus and Dialga and Palkia GX alternate art from Alter Genesis. Illustrated, of course, by Koki Saito. And let me tell you, um, I paid 476 euros for this. Very, very steep price, but... I, I actually had an English version of this in a PSA 8 and I like sold it a while ago and ever since the like the boom for the for the alternate arts or for the GX alternate arts I've never been able to find a good deal for for an English version and since I'm sending in a few cards to CGC soon anyways I thought I might as well pick this one up since I've always wanted this one in my collection in Japanese too and just by the looks of things I mean I'll have to look at this like off camera, but the centering seems pretty good. This was not the cheapest option on eBay. All oh, the edges here isn't very good, and the edge down here also is not too good. But let's, other than that, it looks pretty good. Okay, that's the first card. Really, really, really happy that I finally own this card. Let's put it over here. And most of these cards actually are. If you will, cards that I wanted to grade with CGC to begin with. And some are just filler, you know, to get to that 25 card range to submit it in bulk. Um, this is definitely more, because in bulk for CGC, they have to be upwards or they can't be, they can't exceed 250 in value. Um, I think I'm just going to take my chances. It just means if the package gets lost, I kind of lose money. But I will guess I'll take my chances. Okay, let's see. So we're getting to like the, I don't want to say cheapo territory, but by the looks of this, this packaging, you know, we just have some paper here. Well, I guess it's in a top loader. I guess that's fine. There's also a few extra cards in here. Okay. People always use these football cards. Let's see. So this is, of course, the main event. The friends in Hizui. Um, let me just see. Who's this? I have no idea who that is. And an extra Latio, so here's also a Star Wars card, Boba Fett, there you go. That's pretty cool. I like Boba Fett. Put these over here, and then let's take this one out, the Friends in Hizui. This is also one of the cards that I needed for, for grading. 
You know, I already have the Irida and the Adamon from V-Star Universe. Oh yeah, most of these cards are from V-Star Universe. I've said it in, in like a comment of one of my older videos that I'm probably going to be picking up um, all the V-Star Universe cards that I'm missing right now. Since I don't see them getting cheaper, they're probably going to reprint the booster boxes anyways. But I think now it's a good time to pick up these cards and... For this Friends in Hizui card, I paid 60 euros. Let's say the cheapest option on card market right now, it's... 50. Okay, well, I... that's a 10... that's a 10 euro loss. But, you know, it is what it is. It's fine, because I like this card, I love it. So this will also be sent in to Graydon. I'll have to see how many cards I actually have. And then I'll decide what cards I I use to like um like fill up the bulk if you will let's see let's cut this one open there we go some extra cards some extra code cards I don't actually know if if these are still viable but I guess I'll show them off I mean if he put them in here maybe he just put them in for protection and these are all used I don't know. I'll show them off. Maybe someone gets them. I I hope you do. But here is the Charizard. If you remember, in in one of my openings for V Star Universe, I actually pulled the the Mewtwo, which I was really happy about. And then this one will be the counterpiece to the Mew in my binder. This will look great next to the Mew. Like this is this is amazing. I know the English version is way cheaper than the Japanese version. But given that I already have the Japanese Mewtwo, I thought I was I was just gonna go for it. And like I want a page from V Star Universe, so this is this is great. Let's put this in here as well. That's one more letter down. Let's just go for this one, I guess. Got this open right here. Maybe I can rip the rest, we'll see. Nope, I cannot. That's the black tape that I've put on. Let's do it like this, I guess. There we go. Exacto knife coming in handy. And let's see what this is. Also, sealed in paper. God, I hate this. I actually don't like it because it's so... Ah, I really, really don't like it when people just seal it in paper. I mean, just the top loader is, is good enough. Or, well, if you don't use a top loader, you should use, like, a piece of cardboard, but not just paper. Although it does feel like that there is a top loader in here. Yeah, there is. Okay. This is the Palkia V-Star. Oh, yeah, hang on. Let me just real quick see the Charizard. So, for the Charizard V-Star, I paid 60 as well. Um, cheapest option on card market is 50. Or 52. Okay, well, it all depends on your shipping and where you're from. From different places, you have to pay more for shipping. But I paid 60. Okay. And for the Palkia V-Star, let me just look at that. I paid 40 for this one. Cheapest option right now is 42. Okay, so we made a, a 2 euro W for, for this one. But this is this is also super amazing. You know, I pulled the, the Giratina. In like my second booster box of V-Star Universe. And there are also the other three in here. Or like the other two now, Arceus and Dialga. So now I have the complete set in Japanese. And I don't need to tell you how beautiful these cards are. Illustrated of course by my favorite artist at the moment, Akira Igawa. And this is just, I'm, I'm speechless. This is beautiful. Okay, which one do we open next? Let's open this one next. This little letter right here, we can just open this really easily since it's not taped shut. Let's see what's in here. Oh, there's a um, a cardboard top loader. I like these. I like these cardboard top loaders. Wish it wasn't taped down, but oh well, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Just destroy the letter itself, and then you get this one out. And we cut this one open right here. Let's see what card is inside here. Only one card. Okay, so it can't be one of the other orders. Let's see. Oh, it's the Cynthia. Okay. Man, oh man. Cynthia's ambition from V-Star Universe. Let's see. 
Oh, this is a sealable sleeve from Dragon Shield. I like it. I like it. This guy knows what it's about, dude. This guy knows what it's about. Look at this one. Cynthia's Ambition from V-Star Universe. This, this is probably my favorite Cynthia card, not gonna lie. It's difficult. It's either between this one or the one from Hidden Fates. You know, where like Lucario and um, Garchomp are in the background. But this one also looks super, super nice. And how much did I pay for this? I paid 105. And currently, right now, the cheapest option is, well, 99. Okay. I guess that's a... That's a 6 euro loss, but oh well, it is what it is. This is a nice card. I have a penny sleeve right here. Let me just put this right in. I guess we'll put it right here. Nice, okay. We're moving forwards. We still have... Look at this, we still have so many letters left. Let's just open some of these a bit quicker then. To get this video done in a timely manner, I suppose. I like these. Cardboard envelope. You don't see those every day, but this is very secure. I guess if you have a cardboard envelope, then you can just use um, paper. And some magic cards in here. I assure you, these are just for protection. These are just for protection. I I don't even play magic anymore. I used to back in like, oh, I don't freaking know. Back in 2013 or something like that. And even then... I was really bad at it, but it was fun at the time. But yeah, not not anymore. Mainly focusing on Pokemon. Okay, so this is the order with the with the three cards, some magic cards. Let's get these out of the way. Let's start with this one, the Zama Zenta V, also from V Star Universe. We have the Zashian V. And these are so cool looking. I really love the illustration, especially of this Zashian right here. And like the best part about it is that it's super cheap too. Like, and this one as well, the Deoxys V-Star. I mean, look at this illustration. Doesn't that look beautiful? And can you believe this card is really cheap? Let me just look at the price before I say anything wrong. So for the order in total, I paid 10 euros. Or not anywhere, I paid 30. For the Deoxys, I paid 10. For the Zashian, I paid 11. And for the Zamazenta, I paid 9. Okay. Let's see. The Deoxys, I paid 10. This is currently 8. Oh, well. For the Zashian, I paid 11. This is currently 7. Oh, well. I overpaid there. And the Zamazenta, I paid 9. And this is currently 7. Okay. Well, I did overpay. But nonetheless, these cards are really, really nice, and I'm I'm expecting that these two at least will be used for filler, for my you know my bulk submission. But we'll see, we'll see. I'm running out of space. We still have so many letters. Might have to zoom out in a few seconds here. But let's open this next letter. Let's see. I feel that there's nothing here, so let me just cut in there. Then let's see. Oh, okay. There's just some... Some of these. Oh, this seems to be... Is this the Dialga? This is the Dialga. Okay. I have to get this out. Don't keep me out. I have a knife here. Use it, please. For the love of God. Please use a knife. Oh, that is really sharp. I like it. I got it. Nice. See, this is what I hate about the exact knife. It just rolls away. No disregard for anything. Ah, dang it. Why would you do this to me? Why would you tape shut the top loader so that I have to be really careful cutting it open or not accidentally cutting the card? Why would you do something like that? Ah, dang it. I don't like it. But anyways, here is the Arceus. I mean, same story as with the Palkia. I don't need to say anything. This is, this is super beautiful, this illustration. I absolutely love it. Just wait until you see the Arceus, though, the Japanese one with the with the top-notch texture. Oh my god, the Arceus is gonna be, ah, oh, that's gonna be beautiful. Let's see this one also. I can just rip this open, I like it. Don't need the knife for this one. 
and just take the top loader out. Nice, that was easy. I like it. I like it with the Zera Aura V Star. The Zera Aura V Star also pretty cheap. Oh, hang on. Let me just look at the. Um, I keep forgetting to tell you the prices. Let me find the the Dialga. Okay, V Star Dialga. I paid fifty for this. And the current cheapest one is 45, okay. Oh, well, here is the Zera Aura V-Star. I paid 10 for this. And currently, the cheapest one is 830, okay. Oh, well, I still, I really like this illustration. This is also one that will definitely go in to the bulk, you know, just to fill the space, just to get up to 25 cards for the next CGC submission. Which I'm gonna submit soon, actually. I'm hoping to get it back before Christmas, that's why I wanna, like, kind of hurry up. I still do have to wait until they... they. Oh no, by the time this video comes out, they will already have their new um, label redesign, so... Once I send these cards in, they will come back with the new label. But there you go, that's the Zera Aura, love it. Looks great next to the Oxus, doesn't it? Let's open one of these smaller letters again. We're down to three letters. We've done it. We've done it. We're down to three letters. Okay, let's see the recording. Oh, hang on. Okay, sorry about that. Had to restart the recording. For some reason my camera only records for 20 minutes at a time before it just stops. What is this? It's German. It's a German freaking paper or whatever. What is this? The Tortenaufleger. Ah, oh, that's funny. Okay, no top loader. Why would you do this to me? I don't like it. Let me get... Let me just put this right here. And then very, very carefully cut this card out of here. I mean, you could have used anything else and you chose to use... I don't even freaking know. Freaking... Freaking cake printing. Cake printing advertisement. Now, whatever floats your boat, I suppose. What is this? What is this? Why would you tape it shut? Who are you trying to keep out of this? Demons? What's going on? I, ca I can't get this off. I can't get this off. <laughs> okay, calm down. Just take the X-Acto knife. This is this is what this is for. You know, this small knife right here. This, this is what I have to do to get my cards out. Let me actually just get rid of these cards and show you. You see how freaking taped that is? Oh, the camera isn't focusing. Freaking dingus. There we go. This is taped, and I can't rip this off, so I have to put my knife near the cart and hope that I don't cut it. Okay, thank the Lord. Jesus Christ be praised, freaking Henry from Kingdom Come Deliverance up in this. Okay, there's the Reggie Giga as well. At least I know this one is cheap, so it still would suck if I were to cut into this, but at least I know that this one is cheap. Um, still doesn't make it better, and also it seems to be bent a bit. Ugh. You see this? Or is it just my imagination? Now it definitely seems a bit warped. Nothing too fancy though, or nothing too bad, I suppose. Um, let me just see the Reggie Gigas, so while I have it open right here. For the Reggie Gigas, I paid 8 euros, and it's currently 6. Oh well, that's another 2 euro W. I feel like that's a theme for this video. Lots of or not WL, lots of L's for, for the prices, but do I even care? I don't, because these cards are still beautiful. And it's only like a little bit of a of an L. It's not too bad. So that's fine, I suppose. I need to zoom out. Okay, we only have two letters left, thankfully. And then this is over. This is another one of these, so. Let me get this open right here. Okay, here we go. And it is protected, but although it is taped... I mean, the card isn't gonna fall out if you use two sleeves. Believe you me. Okay. Very nice. We get an extra layer of protection from a friend of Sinnoh and... Whoa! Well, that fits. We got an English friend of Sinnoh, uncommon. And then we also get the, the full art. You know, the Japanese full art for the friends in Sinnoh. This is, this is super cool. Like, just like the, the friends in Hizui, this is, this is amazing. 
This is super, super nice. Who illustrated this, by the way? I've forgotten. Hidedeki Ishikawa. Okay. Thought for a second it might have been Kirisaki, but no. Super, super nice. Let's put this... I want to put it next to the friends in... In Hizui. There you go. This is bothering me. Oh, well. We're almost done. We just have one letter left. Let me just tell you real quick how much I paid for this one. So for the friends in Sinnoh, I paid 60. And cheapest one is currently 50. Well, that is... yeah, 50. Okay. Oh, well. Oh, well. A video of elves, but, you know, one last letter right here. And I don't even know... what are we missing? Oh, we're missing the Arceus, that's right. You know, the most important piece, almost, you know, the god of Pokémon is the one we're missing. So, let me just pull this one out, if I can. Oh, one. You would think this would be more protective, given it was more expensive than the other cards, but... Once again, cardboard envelope, so I guess it's fine. And here is the top loader, taped to a piece of paper. Love it. High quality. Actually, like I've said, I'm, I'm completely fine with this. Like, a cardboard envelope is really good protection, then also a top loader. This is fine, definitely. I'm just being picky. Or something like that. Okay, here we go. The Arceus V-Star. You know, the crown piece for the... For the God Quartet, I guess, if you want to call it that, for V-Star Universe. Man, the texture of this, I'm telling you, the texture is a hundred times better than the one from, from Crown Zenith. I'm not even joking about that. This is so much better. Wow. That card really pops. That card really pops. Oh, well. Let's put it right here, next to the other three. And, well, I guess that does it for this one. I have no more envelopes left. I got a lot of nice free top loaders right here. Thank you for that. And I got a bit infuriated off one of the packages, but that's fine. That was an outburst that won't happen again, I promise you. Um, anyways... If you enjoyed this video, then I suppose a like would be very much appreciated. Um, if you didn't like it, though, then give me a dislike. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like so I can try to fix it for future videos. Other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.